kilograms to tons, so it's the opposite way. Small to large, we divide by a thousand, which gets you something like this. And it says one significant figure, so simply eight. Okay? And kilograms times again, divide by thousands, small to large we divide, and like that. So put the, we need to sorry, put it in one significant figure, so always the first non-zero. So it's going to be four, because six is greater than five. And C, again divide by a thousand, you're going to get a lot of zeros, and that's already in one significant figure, so I don't have to do anything else. Grams to tons, so this time it's the opposite way, smaller to larger unit. So divide by a thousand two times, which means you're going to get a very small number. And in scientific notation, I'm going to put the decimal after the three, so it's going to be three times ten to the power of negative six, because we need to go back six places. Grams to tons again, divide by a thousand two times, which means you get this kind of decimal. So again, in scientific notation, it's four times 10 to the power of negative three because we're going backwards. Grams to tons, okay. Divide by a thousand two times, which gets you this kind of decimal. And then 10 to the power of negative four because we're going backwards negative four times. This time the opposite direction, smaller unit to the largest unit. So we're gonna be dividing by a thousand three times, like that. So your decimal number will be a very small decimal. So we're gonna put the decimal there and that means we have to go back six times, so it's negative six. Same thing, milligrams to tons, divide by a thousand three times, meaning you have that really small decimal. So again, count how many decimal places we need to go backwards, should be nine times, and so negative nine. Again, divide by a thousand three times, watch out for the decimal places, don't make silly mistakes here. And that's what you should have, please double check. And that means we need to go back four times from the six.